Hi everyone, welcome back to learn and build web application using ASP.NET MVC and CodePast NDT framework video series. In this lab 7 video, we're going to see about uh, web optimization technique using bundling and minification feature. Okay, so in this video, we're going to see uh, what is uh, bundling and uh, minification and why are uh, pros or advantages of using this uh, bundling and minification technique. Okay, so now uh, let us move on to uh, see what is bundling okay bundling is a group of uh, either a javascript or css files that is loaded with a single http request okay so now uh, let us see uh, what exactly uh, the bundling is uh, let us see practically okay so before uh, i explain uh, before i explain uh, bundling concept uh, let us uh, let us do uh, in a normal approach that is without using a bundling uh, uh, concept let us do it uh, uh, normally and see performance of the application okay uh, in this application we can see certain bundling feature is already present for example you can see uh, if you go to global.ascx page and see there is a method called as uh, register bundle and also there is a class called as bundle con bundle config if i click f12 you can see there is a uh, class called as bundle config and register bundle static method called as register bundle so and also if you go to layout page and see there is a bundling feature which is uh, present over here okay here it is gonna render a, uh, a script and here you can see here also it is gonna render a jquery script okay using bundling uh, future okay so there is already a, a bundling uh, and uh, minification future has been used over here okay since i have used a uh, internet template uh, while during the uh, start of the application okay so by default all this uh, uh, bundling and minification future has been enabled okay so this uh, you can see styles dot render it's gonna render css file so I am commenting this and I will also comment this. This is going to render all the script files. Okay. So now let us see in a normal approach, uh, what would be the performance of the application and how much uh, is the time consuming uh, to render those JavaScript files. Okay. So let me open this script file and uh, let me drag and drop this certain script files. Let me use uh, one jQuery file and jQuery UI. And uh, unobtrusive Ajax script file. And finally validate. And validate unobtrusive. Okay, so here you can see uh, I am using certain uh, uh, JavaScript files. I have dragged and dropped into the layout page. So now let me run the application and see how much, uh, what would be the uh, time consumed for rendering this uh, set of uh, script files that is uh, in the normal approach without using a bundling feature. Okay, okay let this CSS be as it is. Uh, let us check for only JavaScript files. Let me run the application and see. Okay, let me click on F12. So let me go to network tab and see. So it got loaded. So here you can see this, uh, the time consumed for rendering this uh, JavaScript files. So jQuery, it has taken 481 milliseconds and uh, jQuery UI 524 milliseconds. So, so on. So here you can see uh, the time consumed for uh, rendering the scripts. So let me, let me capture this readings. So this is, uh, this readings are uh, uh, we have captured this uh, using the normal approach 
okay now let me stop this application and now uh, I will comment out this okay uh, now uh, let me go to this bundle config.cs file this bundle config.cs file which is present uh, over uh, app start uh, uh, folder okay so this bundle config uh, file inside this uh, I will be adding a set of uh, JavaScript files okay so let me copy this and add it as a single let me copy an obstructive and also copy this okay and uh, let me copy this file also like in our previous uh, performance check we have uh, checked for uh, phi scripts okay so here you can see I have included uh, all the five scripts so I have bundled all the five script into a single script bundle file okay here actually what I did is uh, I am using this uh, bundles object uh, bundles object uh, of uh, uh, bundle collection okay bundles is the object of bundle collection so to this bundle object uh, I am uh, creating an instance of a script bundle with the name uh, bundle slash jQuery and inside this bundle slash jQuery I have I have included a set of JavaScript files okay so this is nothing but a bundling concept okay so uh, I will repeat again so I am using this uh, bundles object of bundle collection class and to this bundles object I am adding mm, uh, a uh, new uh, created instance of script bundle uh, which uh, with the name uh, script bundle with the name bundle slash jQuery and uh, to this bundle slash jQuery I have included a set of uh, five JavaScript files which I have used earlier okay so I have included this now I will go back to this layout.cs page okay now I will use this as a single set file okay so I am rendering this I am rendering this uh, a bundled file okay so by this single render file I can render all the uh, five scripts okay so now before running this uh, since I am uh, running from the local uh, I have to uh, enable one flag okay so let me go to global.asx page and here after uh, bundles registering the bundles I need to enable bundle table dot enable optimization for uh, checking the optimization uh, locally okay I need to set this flag now let me run this application and see okay let me click on F12 and go to network tab and see the recordings see the performance of the application okay so it got loaded now let me record this uh, readings too okay so let me save this uh, this is the old reading let me save this 
or uh, uh, let us do the comparison over here okay so this is the old uh, uh, readings uh, which we have taken uh, that is using the normal approach okay so below one is the uh, one where we have used uh, the bundling and minification future so here you can see uh, there is a single request okay single jquery request where it it is going to it, it is going to load a uh, five javascript files so here you can see the readings it has taken just 134 milliseconds to load all the set of five javascript files this is using the uh, bundling mini, bundling and minification feature here in the normal approach here you can see uh, f uh, this uh, it has taken 481 milliseconds 524 milliseconds so it will be rendering uh, uh, separately each uh, javascript file will be rendering separately but here in the bundling and minification future if you use bundling concept where it will render the set of uh, javascript files or set of uh, set of uh, css file as a single request and also you can see the performance of the application will be uh, yeah, will be good when compared to the normal approach okay so this is just an example where i have uh, uh, just uh, shown with uh, uh, certain uh, files that is only five files but in real time projects there may be uh, uh, n number of uh, files like this okay so as we seen uh, this bundling is a group of files that is it is a group of either a javascript or css file that is loaded with a single http request okay and uh, the next point here is uh, a uh, style and uh, script bundle can be created for css and javascript files respectively by calling uh, bundle collection add method in the bundle config.cs file okay here you can see uh, script bundle uh, is used for creating a, a script and uh, style bundle is used for creating a set of uh, css files okay so and also we have seen uh, the performance of the uh, uh, performance improvement in the application uh, by using bundling okay bundling reduces the page load time and uh, helps in performance improvement in the application okay wild character is used to combine the files that are present in the same directory and have same prefix or suffix with its name okay uh, say suppose uh, if you go to this uh, screen bundle config where you can see uh, I've used a validate star so uh, you can so here what it does is uh, it will select uh, all the files uh, that is prefixed with validate so what actually this does is uh, if you go to script file so this will select uh, uh, validate.js jquery.validate.js and this will also select jquery.validate.unabstrusu dot js okay so wild characters can also be used in uh, bundling okay star is uh, one of the wild characters and also here you can see uh, we have used a uh, version okay for jquery we have used a version dot js uh, here basically if you use a uh, star over here there will uh, there will be uh, some issues like uh, if you use a star similarly like validate star if you use instead of using this version if you use uh, uh, star like this uh, then what happens is it gonna uh, grab uh, all the Jav uh, javascript files uh, with uh, prefix jquery so it gonna grab uh, jquery and uh, jquery uh, ui so sometimes uh, uh, the ordering may be messed up so that is the reason uh, uh, for this in this case uh, uh, we should avoid uh, using star instead uh, where we can use this uh, version so using this version uh, what actually it does is uh, this version maps to this uh, uh, what what could be the version like uh, jquery here currently this uh, version is 1.7.1 uh, so this is the uh, wild character uh, uh, where uh, uh, for version it, it is used okay so using this version also uh, what it does is uh, it will actually uh, uh, avoids us uh, for uh, uh, doing updation so suppose uh, tomorrow we have upgraded uh, jquery version so 
uh, in that case uh, we no need to come here and uh, update this uh, version so this regular uh, uh, regular expression will uh, uh, overcome that uh, uh, problem or issue okay so uh, in this uh, example you can see here uh, we can also use uh, this wild characters for this bundling concepts okay so this is about uh, bundling concept so now let us move on to see uh, what is minific what is minification okay uh, minification uh, performs a variety of different code optimization uh, to scripts or css and reduces the size of the file by uh, removing unnecessary white spaces and removing the com uh, removing the comments and shortening variable names to single character okay and this minification process will be done automatically okay so if we uh, if you go to this example what we have uh, uh, done okay so here uh, if you open this in new tab okay so here you can see this uh, all this uh, uh, this bundling thing uh, where uh, it has uh, done minification for us it has shortened the file uh, it has uh, combined the set of uh, five javascript file into a single file and it has uh, there is no comments over here and there is no white spaces it has removed all the white spaces it has removed all the comments okay so by this it has uh, reduced the size of the file and also you can see the uh, uh, performance uh, load time uh, 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 very it reduces the load time okay so this is about a minification okay and also this minification process is done automatically okay now uh, let us see uh, uh, finally uh, why do we need uh, this uh, bundling and minification so this bundling and minification is a web optimization technique and uh, this need to have uh, system dot web optimization dll installed in order to use this bundling and minification feature in mvc okay so here if you see here uh, in the references uh, there is a system dot uh, web dot optimization which is present over here and also i'm using this uh, name spaces since this uh, in this application i have created a internet uh, template uh, during the start of uh, uh, creating the application uh, so all these things has been uh, uh, provided to me uh, by this uh, internet application uh, if you if you would have created a empty application then you need to manually write all these things and uh, include all this uh, dlls uh, into the project okay so bundling and minification are the two techniques you can use in asp.net 4.5 to improve uh, request load time and uh, also we have seen this uh, bundling and minification improves load times by reducing the number of requests to the server and reducing the size of the requested assets that is javascript and css files okay so this is about uh, a bundling and minification uh, technique uh, using web optimization technique okay so thank you thank you for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel for watching more videos